Hi, it's Larry Gaines from Power Cycle Trading. Um, I wanted to go through this video today and show you where the markets are headed based on the S&P 500 and also Apple. Uh, it was a really uh, exciting day in the markets and I'm going to show you um, how you can use various tools to help you trade the market. Uh, but before I get started, uh, I'd like to make sure that you get my free ebook. So to get this ebook, uh, just go to my website, uh, powercycletrading.com, and you'll see here free power trading toolkit. It's uh, top 15 trading strategies for options. So just put your name and email address in there, and you'll get it right away. Now, when you're trading or investing, you should always have a plan, just like any business. If you want to be successful, you need to have a, you know, a really good plan to. Uh, provides you consistent returns in uh, the system that you need. You need to be systematized. So at uh, Power Cycle Trading, we have a, a system that we use, the Power Cycle Trading model, and we start out each day uh, in our virtual trading room with a top-down market analysis of the markets to see where they are and see where they're potentially headed based on our trading model. So here is just the uh, uh, chart set up. This is a S&P 500 cash. This is the weekly chart and just to show you on a weekly time frame we consider this long term uh, our trading model went long June the 8th 2012 and it's still holding long so this is base we use the S&P as the reference and so we've been in a solid uptrend ever since uh, you know June the 8th and it's still moving up so in this particular type market when you have pullbacks you want to be looking to buy the dips but then you need a tool in order to be able to find the right entry areas for buying those dips so that's what we have and I'll show you how this works so using our top-down market analysis the next time frame we look at we go from the long term which has the market in an uptrend to our medium term trend and that's using the daily time frame and we use the same trading model but over a daily time frame so daily data points and you can see here by the arrows that this is where the system went short Here's where it went neutral, the yellow. Here's where it went long, neutral. So you can see, just going back in time from all the way back here in May, you know, the cycle model had a cycle high here and uh, gave a cycle high. So you could have gotten out of your positions if you were long, go sideways, go short if you want. And then the cycle model gave you a neutral position right here with the yellow arrow, a long. So back and forth, you can see up, down, up, down, up, down currently uh, and this came on the 24th of September it gave a cycle high so the system had been long uh, on the 13th of September went neutral at that yellow arrow that's where it went neutral that was on the 17th of September then went short and uh, it's still holding short so that's the medium term now remember we're in an uptrend on the long term but the medium term trend signal that the market was going to move down so now we're looking to buy the dips now again using our top-down market analysis technical analysis the next time frame we go to is the intermediate term which is measured by a 60 minute time frame or 45 minute so on this chart same S&P 500 60 minute time frame you can see the various arrows uh, now these were put in by me to show exactly where the system you know went long and green went short and red went neutral and yellow and went green uh, for long so the last two signals it was will appear on the 25th of September uh, it went short uh, on the 26th of September it went neutral and on the 27th today at 10 central it cycled to the upside so currently the intermediate term trend is back up and if this continues then the medium term trend or the daily trend will eventually turn back up too so that's three time frames and that's what we will use now you can from from this you know then you can also focus on specific stocks and so I'm going to show you Apple now we trade a lot of Apple and Apple weekly options so it's something that we're constantly following and today using our intermediate time frame the 60 minute using our trading model which you can't see here but 
Uh, this trading model gave us a cycle low set up right here today, right on the open. So that came at uh, the 27th of September, right at 9 central. So this green arrow shows you where the signal came for the intermediate time frame. And you can see the explosive move that happened for Apple. So based on this and our other time frames, we were trading in and out of Apple all day, biased to the long side. We made a lot of money. And we also, for uh, swing trades, we used this time frame, the 60-minute time frame or intermediate term for our swing trades. So we did uh, a lot of members put on different uh, call vertical spreads, bull put credit spreads. And so we traded the day doing uh, these various trades all to the long side on Apple. So let me show you where Apple potentially can go. Now once we get into a trade, we'll typically uh, use Fibonacci retracement levels uh, to give us an idea of, of the potential upside or downside uh, of a particular stock or uh, index. So here's Apple. Today our intermediate time frame gave us a long right here today, the 27th. And it had an explosive engulfing move over yesterday's bar. Made a new low today, engulfed that, closed higher, very strong close. Uh, Apple tends to have, you know, two, three, four different days of fall through. So we'll see if that continues. And if it does, then we can get an idea of the potential upside. So here using Fibonacci, the 50% retracement from this high, uh, which came in at uh, 705.07 on the 21st of September to the low today of 660.35. We'll put in our Fibonacci retracement levels. So we retraced all the way up here to the 50% retracement level here. And that comes in at um, about 682.50. Now tomorrow, it um, a lot of times Apple will gap up on these kind of strong movements. So if, if it does gap up, then the next level is going to come in at 618 at 688. But it could pull back again. It might pull back down in here to the uh, right, right in here to the 382 and then continue up. But anyway, uh, I'd be looking for Apple to probably at least go to the 618 and then you know, continue on up and see if it makes back up to the prior high and higher. So that's uh, how you can use our system. You need trading tools. You need tools in order to be a successful trader. So if you'd like to uh, join our service, PowerCycle Trading, and become a successful trader, please come join us. And thank you very much for your time. Uh, one last thing, I'm going to have a, a trader special that will continue through the end of this month. So if you're interested in that, uh, please check it out and uh, I'll show you the link for that. So if you'd be interested in our, in our trader special, um, uh, I want you to, to look what you can get here. You can get uh, any choice of our power cycle trading course. You'll get our trading course, Option Trading Made Simple, three months to our uh, Outlook membership, which is a video newsletter coming out each day, and three months to the virtual trading room. You can get all this, which has a retail value of fifteen seventy nine. You can get it, get it all for six ninety seven, and you need to go to the following URL if you want to receive this. So, if interested, just go to powercycletrading.com slash trader. powercycletrading.com slash trader. So, hope to see you soon. And again, thank you very much for your time.